Greetings, it is I, the Great One himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com. I got some CLSology for you right here in this anarchy moment. I finished recording Stating the Obvious 212. Is that? Wait, that can't be right. Oh, tell me that's not right. Have I really been doing that? Ah, f fuck me running, Rachel. All right. Anyway, it has nothing to do with what I'm doing here. God damn it. <laughs> I should just start over, but I don't care. I just finished recording Staying the Obvious 212, and I was talking about how here in the People's Republic of Fort Collins, we are going to, we, the government, if I stop doing that, fuck. Bad habits. The government is looking at making dust illegal. And by this, I mean they're going to implement a series of laws to control dust. And I said that I would love to see dust, no, dust. They are dust blowers. Leaf blowers get made illegal because all they do is blow dog shit around and dirt and all this other stuff. Get it up in the air and then people breathe it in. I mentioned I had not read the documentation, so I just, in getting the link to put it in the show notes for stating the obvious 212, I jumped over to the Fort Collins website and I pulled up the draft documentation. I want to read to you, so this is the draft Dust Prevention and Control Manual, which, and there's actually, even at this moment, as I'm recording this on February the 4th at 7.47 p.m., a hearing is actually going on right now, today, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., about this dust control manual. So here's what this says about six, section 3.12 is about mechanical leaf blowing. Now, this is what would become the law if this passed. It says here, Mechanical blowers are commonly used to move leaves, grass clippings, and other landscaping debris to a central location for easier pickup and removal. Mechanical blowing with a leaf blower can be a significant source of fugitive dust in some situations and create nuisance conditions and cause health effects for sensitive individuals. That's the government way of saying the leaf blowers blow fucking dirt and vomit and dog shit and particles and leaves and all this other shit up into the air where other people have to breathe it. Again, the fact that you don't know this by looking at it is fucking pathetic. Mechanical leaf blowing can resuspend dust particles that contain allergens, pollogens, and molds, as well as pest pesticides, fecal contaminants, and toxic metals causing allergic reactions, asthma attacks, and excavating, ex God damn it, I can't talk still, other respiratory illnesses. Wow, isn't that incredible? It sounds almost as bad as cigarettes, which are completely fucking illegal in certain parts of Fort Collins. But are we going to make dust blowers illegal? No. I mean, dust blowers. Well, they are dust blowers. Leaf blowers illegal? No. However, here's what they are looking at doing. Dust control measures. Any person, owner, or operator who operates a mechanical leaf blower, gas, electric, or battery powered, in a manner that is a dust generating activity or source, shall implement the following dust control measures to prevent off-property transportation of fugitive dust emissions. Okay, so first of all, anybody who's operating it, the person, the owner, or the operator. So the operator can be hold, held legally responsible, as can the owner, as can, I'm sure, the property owner. Using a leaf blower in a manner that is dust generating, well... Anytime you use a leaf blower, it's going to generate dust. You cannot show me any example other than if you used it, say, for example, in a clean room where using a dust blower is not going to generate dust. Every fucking time anybody uses a dust blow, a leaf blower outside, it's going to generate dust. 
If you're so fucking stupid that you think a leaf blower can be used outside without generating dust, you should fucking kill yourself. If you have children, you should kill them first so as to make sure your DNA does not continue to fucking replicate. So these are the following dust control measures that must be implemented. Number one, alternative method. Use an alternative method while possible, such as a rake broom shovel, manual push leaf sweeper, or a leaf vacuum machine equipped with a filtration system. It's always possible to use a rake, a broom, a shovel, or a manual push leaf sweeper or a vacuumer. It is always possible in 100% of conditions to do one of those alternative methods. Therefore, no leaf blower should ever be used in Fort Collins again. Number two, prevent impact. Do not blow dust and debris towards people, animals, open windows, air intakes, or parked vehicles, or onto adjacent property, public right-of-way, storm drainage facility, or water course. Well, you know what? No matter what direction you blow the dust in, there's either going to be a person, an animal, an open window, an air intake, a parked vehicle, or adjacent property, or a public right-of-way, or a storm drainage facility, or a water course in that direction. I hope to God this fucking passes, because I will fucking walk around, and every time I see some cocksore with a leaf blower, I will call the fucking government. I will, I will be the most statist motherfucker you ever saw in your life, if this passes. Number three. Prevent use on dirt. Well, leaves usually fall on people's lawns. Lawns are made out of dirt. Number three, prevent use on dirt. Do not use mechanical blower on unpaved lots, road shoulders, or loose dirt, or to spread fertilizer. Number four, low speed. Use the lowest speed appropriate for the task. Okay, who's going to decide what is the lowest speed appropriate for the task? Let's say it's a three-speed leaf blower and you have it on the medium speed. When the government shows up and says, well, you should be on the lower speed, by what scientific criteria is it being determined what is the lowest speed appropriate for the task? Number five, operation. Use the full length of the blow tube and place the nozzle as close to the ground as possible because that's going to help how. Number six, wet suppression. Use a light spray of water as necessary and appropriate considering current weather conditions to dampen dusty work areas. Prevent water, dirt, and debris from entering any storm drainage facility or water course. Who decides if it's necessary or if it's appropriate? Number seven, remove debris. Remove and properly dispose of blown material immediately. And number eight, High winds restriction. Do not conduct leaf blowing when local wind speeds exceed 30 miles per hour. What if the wind speeds are 29 miles an hour? How do you know the wind speed? What if my dream came true and I got a little bit statist? What if? Oh, what if? Leaf blowers were just made illegal like cigarettes are. Then, I wouldn't have to put up with this shit. How about that? <laughs>